Good evening, everybody. I am Sadbod. Tonight, I just got done playing a brand new map called Celestial Doomsday by Lenny Gold. Yes, the same Lenny Gold who was the first to get the Farewell Golden Strawberry has finally come out with his own map, and it was rough. In fact, this is the very first map that I almost gave up on completely. When you get to the cassette room in this video, just know that this small room took me over three hours and accounted for almost 900 deaths. It was one of the most unforgiving rooms I think I have ever played. Uh, this map in general uses a mechanic that I'd never even considered before, and I'm about to show you kind of what it's all about. But it was, it was tough. For the most part, though, the mechanic worked, even though it was what most would call pretty damn jank. In fact, if this map wasn't made by Lenny, I could see Lenny just totally freaking out about it. I'm almost I'm almost convinced that Lenny did this as a, a giant troll and and we're just I'm just I just ate it all up. So yeah, I'm not uh, I feel really bad. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the prologue because I feel like I need to explain this map so you can understand like what's happening because if you don't know how this works the, this whole video could seem really really weird so we're going to do that <sighs> I hope you guys enjoy the video if you beat this let me know down in the comments below hit me up down there guys as always if you enjoy what you see hit that subscribe button let's go all right dreaded beginnings this is actually, I'm actually dreading this. Like, watching this is just giving me anxiety. Prologue actually wasn't too bad. It was chapter one that just messed me up. It just ruined my day. It was so hard. There were some parts that, that weren't too bad, but the, the mechanic that we're about to get into just gets super crazy. Comfy spot down there. The spot here stinks, my head's scraping the ceiling, my legs are cramped, and I'm close to falling off. This is certainly not comfy. Well, dang. That's probably right, though, if you think about it. So, once we get up here, move blocks, as you can see. You know, when you activate a move block and it hits an obstacle, it breaks. And then it respawns itself where it originated. The one thing that you have to know, though, is when it's respawning, even if you can't see it, there is a small window in which you can stand on this thing, like that, and get your dash back, and all kinds of really jank things happen and are expected of you uh, when you want to play this map. So what you just saw is pretty much the, the general mechanic of this entire map. And it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Like this is this is really really challenging. So, for example, you can see here we have to wait. There's a lot of timing involved to uh, to get all of that stuff in line. And chapter one just gets totally nuts. So we're about to hop in there. I hope you guys enjoy. And once, as I said before, you know, if you've played this before, hit me up down in the comments. I want to know what your thoughts are. I actually thought for the most part it was pretty fun. There were some parts, though, that really got me tilted. So I'm about to hop off face cam. I hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, have a great night.